This is Moon. She is a survivor of war, rescued from a shelter in Ukraine after the war began. She's not aggressive or she's yes. just letting you do what she needs you to do. It's okay, sweetie. Mm -hmm. This veterinarian must poke and prod her to find out just how sick she really is. We must, uh, we must clean uh, uh, this uh, Same. Uh, uh, for uh, seven days. Seven days you have to keep doing this. The staff at the Ada Foundation treats these dogs as their own. It is a no-kill animal shelter in Przemysl, Poland. Hundreds of animals from war-torn Ukraine are being cared for here. The humans have not slept much since the war began in neighboring Ukraine. They are just a few miles from the Polish-Ukrainian border. The staff has been driving into war-torn Ukraine to save truckloads of shelter animals and pets people simply couldn't carry across the border. In another room, more animals, different war stories. This is Sasha. Oh. Oh. And she's from Ukraine. A baby goat brought from Ukraine with legs that needed mending. So we made uh, this uh, bandage and mm -hmm. we uh, feeding uh, him uh, and we must uh, keep him uh, warm and uh, um, peace and a uh, lot of uh, love. Yeah, good boy. Sleepy baby. Sasha is a newborn, just seven days old. You can tell, because he tries to nurse on my earlobe, biting down when no milk comes out. Oh. The doctors say without the care he got here, he would have starved to death if left alone in Ukraine. She would die if she wasn't yes. here, basically. Uh, he got, uh, or he would die. He would die if he, he wasn't here. He would die. The son of Ada Foundation's founder tells us Sasha was dropped off here by a woman after she escaped from Ukraine into Poland, but had nowhere to take him. But she left one instruction. She will be back to get him. She loves him. He's family. And uh, I think uh, uh, owner, uh, this, uh, this lady, uh, loves so much this, this, uh, this animal. Uh, this animal uh, is... Uh, family, no? yeah. Part of the family, no? Yes, yes. a part of family. And uh, we want back when war is, uh, will, will uh, end. This is a family affair. His daughter has been giving Sasha the love and warmth he needs. These are just two animal war stories of hundreds, and more arrive every week. And every week, these animals get top-notch care. To the staff here, these war refugees are as important to care for as the humankind. Sarah Seidner, CNN, Przemysl, Poland.